Pictory versus Flex Clip. Which one is better for your YouTube videos? Well, if you'd like to find out a bit more about that, stick around to the end because you're going to find out. Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, now, right here, we are at a place called Flex Clip. Now, Flex Clip is more of a manual video editing software rather than a, a artificial intelligence which can then create the videos for you. However, this does have a bit more flexibility in some ways in the fact that you can in fact do most of this manually yourself or you can have it choose from a template if you wish to. And let me go show you what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to click on here and we can either choose go timeline mode which allows us to be able to put audio as well as other things into it or we can use the Flex Clip storyboard which is not quite as flexible. So I'm going to be choosing the timeline for the moment. And we're going to just wait a moment while it finishes thinking. Okay, now we're back. What we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab the very first thing I'm going to do is add my audio. I've already had some audio that I had created before, and I'm going to be adding that straight into here. Now to do that, all I need to do is go over here to media, click on that. And then what we're going to need to do is go over here to local files. So we click on that. And we'll just wait a moment for it to wake up. And then we'll go ahead and drag an audio file straight across to here. Okay, so this is the audio one we're going to be doing. It's called Finish VoiceOver. And we'll wait for that to come in. And then once it does, it will then put it at the bottom of the area just here. I'm just going to grab hold of that and drag that up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, in just a moment, once that is finished, once that's finished, we'll drag that down, put that directly under here. Now I'm just going to drag this section up a little bit so we can see it a bit better. Yeah, so what we've got is we've got the audio right there. So what we can now do is we can begin to start loading videos. So what we need to do is go clicking the video section just here. And once it does, we can then finish grabbing some stuff. Now, the whole point of this particular one is how to create an ebook. So, what I want to do over here is clicking on here, and I want to type in here Amazon, and also wait for that to wake up. I might also know I might go ebook or book writing. I might do book writing because I've done that previously. And I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to drag that onto the timeline just here, straight into that spot right there, and let it load. And then we can do the same thing we can by grabbing a whole bunch of these, and then we can just drag them over when we're ready. Now I'm going to grab this one, and this one we can just by hitting that little orange plus symbol, we can hit that one as well. And as you scroll through, you can then adjust it to suit how you want. Now, of course, you can always add more things to it if you wish to. And it's really very, very easy. It's lagging a little bit at the moment due to the fact that I am recording. Now, you can just keep adding all of this stuff here. And it's all about creating a book. So we're doing that right now. We're just adding all these things to it. Now that we've done some of that, let's now add Amazon. hit enter and it'll come up with some images as well so we go we can choose this one over here we can choose this one here we can choose this one here and so forth as you go through you can add more and more things to it as you can see it's telling you there's about three minutes worth of video just there so we will probably want to be adding a bit more than that so let's now make it selling and hit enter and see what it comes up with yeah okay we can do that one 
and we can just keep adding a few things to it as we go and you can see what the point is you just keep adding it as you go this is probably more of a video editor rather than an AI so I wouldn't if you're looking at doing it as a comparison for video editing then this is a really good video editor for beginners and I say for beginners because you know you can also upload your own personal files into it you can put your own videos in there if you wish to and you can then use this to just add clips to your videos while you're talking and you can have things being added over the top of your current video primarily because you want to be able to make sure that it's going to look good okay so I'm going to just leave it at that for the moment and then we're going to also now have a quick little play along and we'll see what this is like I'm going to take the head back here and in just a moment we're going to grab this area just here and drag it back down so we can see what's going on and we're just going to hit play and you'll be able to see with here this is how we can actually adjust the sizing of the area and we can also if we wish to add words to it now let's go adding some text I already have some text that I want to use and it happens to be when I bring it up this one right here so we want to be able to add a title text to it so here we go I'm going to go how to write an ebook effectively let's just copy all, all let's just copy that go control C and we can just copy that we can just hit that there and just copy that so let's shrink that down I want to use this one and we're going to add that to the scene now what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to double click on there and what's going to come up on the left hand side here is a place we can add our text I'm just going to click on there and there we are there we have it now we can also adjust the background color of that if we want to it doesn't have to be this it can be also a bit darker if we wish to by clicking on here and we can now increase the opacity and make it substantially darker so I'm going to make it about there see what it's like and that looks pretty good uh, in fact I might make that a little bit lighter it's probably just a tad too dark now we might make that about oh, 60 something that will probably do click off here 57 is fine we'll just keep it at that and when you move over here you can now press play and we can see how this looks for other products. So let's go back over here from the very beginning and we'll start from the very beginning I'll shrink this down so I can make sure I'm there and make sure it's at the very beginning of the playhead there we are now let's press oh hang on I just realized something I put that in the wrong spot so give me one second while I go add this to it again just double click on here wait for that to come up and then we're going to just go control V so as it pastes it in there and there it is and we'll just do the same thing again expand it up because I just realized the mistake I made now if you want to be able to centralize that all you need to do is click on that and you can now click over here and that then puts it in the center why did it change screens well it's really playing up because of the um, fact that I'm, I'm recording a video now let's change get make that a bit darker so I'm going to go clicking here take that up to 57 like it was and see how it goes little do 56 57 is close enough now let's press play how to write a book effectively there we go it's stopped there now I'm going to expand that up so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to grab hold of that and drag that across to here so as it the transition meets it so we can just grab that as I said I'm recording so it's drag it's lagging a little bit today it can do that sometimes when we're recording okay let's just start from the beginning and start again this can be a little bit fiddly if, if your computer's lagging like mine is let's press play how to write a book effectively there we go and that's where we can even cut it if we wish to there we go just cut it there and there we have it now we can also now add another we can just highlight over the top of that and we can now add some more text if we wish to now 
To do that, all we have to do is go back to the document we were previously at, and then we can redo that again. Now, if you like the more hands-on style of doing things, this is a really great way of doing it. However, if you like me, I much prefer to go over here to Pictory. And with Pictory, it's just a simple matter of getting my text. What's wrong one? This one here. Get it right. Get the correct one, and we'll open this one up. And I'll just highlight over the top of it, grab all of my text, and then we can just copy and paste the whole lot. So I'm just going to go Control A so I can copy all of that. I may not have enough room because I know I can only do 10 minutes, and I think this is just a smidgen over 10 minutes. And then I'm going to just paste it into here. And we're just going to go straight into there and paste it straight in. This may take a moment or two. Once we have it going, there we are. So this has got quite a lot of text in here. As you can see, it's got over 11,000 characters. Yep, that looks like it's going to fit. Okay, so let's have a look and see how this goes. We're now going to proceed. And I'll just pause the video while we are waiting. So I'll just hit proceed and we'll see if we go from there. Oh yes, we need to be able to make sure that we hit this. And then we're going to wait. Now in case you're wondering where I got the article from, I actually got that from Writer. I got Writer to create the article for me, Steps to Writing an eBook, and then this is the one I got them to create. And as you can see, it created a very nice, lovely, very long article for me, which is about probably nine pages long according to my Word document. So you know it's a, a 10 minute long video at least that we're going to be looking at here. Now I'm just going to pause the video once again. All right, now all I need to do now is add my audio to this because everything in my wording will be already set up. I will double click on this, just set it all up so it's the way I like it. I'm going to set this up to be darker. Go down to here. Do the, make the background darker. Highlight the highlighter a bit more so as it's a bit brighter. Also make that a bit more yellow. There we are. And then we are also going to put that into the center. And we're going to apply this across the entire video. We're going to go there. We're going to apply it to the entire video. And there we have it. Okay, so what I also plan on doing is adding some audio to this. Let's go upload voiceover. And I'm just going to pause the video while I go look for it. I'm going to grab that here. I'm now going to just use the original voiceover, which is this one here. And we're going to add this to this. And then we're going to wait for this to come up. Once it's come up, it'll then say add to it, add to entire video. And once that comes up, we can then do that. And it will then render across here to Pictory. So give me one second while I pause the video. All right, so I'm just going to go entire video and then allow that to do its thing. So we're just going to pause the video till it's finished. So in case you want to see what it's like, it just says auto syncing voiceover generating preview. So once it's finished, it'll come back. Okay, so technically with FlexClip, let's go back over here for a moment. That is essentially how you would use this. We can also add transitions by clicking on here, and this will then allow us to be able to add transitions. Now let's just click on here so we can see what the transitions are like. Now the transitions, you have a quite a lot of transitions here. Now my suggestion would be, if you are going to be adding transitions, and there's not a lot of space between the lines, my suggestion would be don't add the transitions there. Allow it to just jump across to the screen. However, if you have got something where there's a lot of, there's a bit of a gap between what they're saying, with a, with a one or two second gap or three second gap, then you can then add a transition there to take up some of the space. To do that, all we have to do is get hold of the transition and literally drag it down to where we want it. Have we want it there, so that's what, what we're going to do. We're going to click it on there, and that's what we want to do. We just click it on there, and there it is. There is the transition. And the next time we want a transition, it will be somewhere in here, and then you can just, when you've searched through and found where it's got to go, you can then add it there. Very, very quick, very, very simple, very, very easy. However, I will say Pictory is much easier. It's still thinking, but let's now pause the video while we wait for Pictory to finish. Book effectively. Why write a, why write a book? 
A book can be a, a book can be a great way to share your knowledge and expertise with the world. A book a book is a powerful tool that can help you establish your credibility and build your personal brand. I'm just going to pause the video a for one second. Be, a book can also be a way to generate passive income. Now this is a very long video comparatively because this is over a 10 minute video and normally when we're doing picture videos we don't tend to go more than 10 minutes. So we tend to go a little bit less than 10 minutes usually, usually around 5 minutes or so. So with this particular one, as you can see it's got story blocks. Now FlexClip also uses story blocks and the, as you can see it won't be there once it's finished rendering. So is this a fair comparison? Not remotely. It is not even close to being a fair comparison because FlexClip is more of a manual editing program where you can add your own clips and your own things into it. And in fact, what I would strongly suggest you use with this is to put your entire video where you're sitting in front of the camera talking to the people and then add the clips to your video on top of yours so as you can then use those to explain what you want to say. And the best part about it is you don't have to go hunting all over the place for it. You can just get it straight from FlexClip itself. You don't have to go looking everywhere on the net to try and find it and then download it and then try and drag it into your editing software. It's already there waiting for you. So FlexClip is more of a manual setting, whereas Pictory is definitely an artificial intelligence which then creates the video for you, which to be perfectly honest is my preference. As you have been, if you've been watching my channels for any length of time, you know I love AI. Anyhow, with that being said, FlexClip is more of a manual one. If you have a 10 minute video and you're on the front of the screen, you're talking, you're doing all the things, and then you have images coming up, you can then place those images in the appropriate place where you want it. And you really would have very little issues with that. So out of the two, who do I think wins? Pictory beyond a doubt. Pictory is without a doubt the best of the bunch. And it has been AI creates the videos for you, which means it's way less work for you to have to do. However, if you are more of a hands-on sort of person who likes to get in there and do everything manually and put up your own video and then have the clips ready for you to just put straight in, then this could very well be the way to go, especially if you sit in front of the camera. So I will leave a link for both of these down below. So, but I do believe Pictory wins this one hands down. All right. All right, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, also too, just to let you know, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And if you look over here, you'll see an icon of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.